The Hive is one of the most popular Minecraft servers, and it has a lot of secrets not known to the public. So I found the most obscure Hive secrets that I guarantee you don't know at least one of these. The Hive has a lot of maps, but some of these maps are actually real places. Venice in Death Run is obviously Venice in Italy, and Rome in Treasure Wars is Rome in Italy. But did you know that Iso Hotel is actually a real hotel in Chile? Another thing you might have not known is O2 in Treasure Wars. This map is actually inspired off of Singapore's Gardens by the Bay. Halloween is the spookiest time of the year, and Hive has a special hub and brings back an old game mode for this time, Ghost Invasion. Now this game mode has some really hidden things I'm not sure anyone has noticed. Take a look at the Ghost Invasion map graveyard. Notice anything? Well, when you die in Murder Mystery, you spawn in this graveyard. And it's actually the exact same graveyard as the one in Ghost Invasion, just way smaller. When you queue in Ghost Invasion, you spawn in this structure that has these ladders. But if you go outside the structure, you'll notice that the structure is actually the exact same structure as the one in Violet Keep at middle. Coincidence? I think not. Because if you look really closely, the leaf placement here is exactly the same. Hive must have taken inspiration from Ghost Invasion and put it into newer game modes and no one noticed. But speaking of outside, let's talk about secrets that are outside the Hive's maps that you can't see when playing normally. On the Murder Mystery map, Witch School, you'll find this cool secret that says Hive Witch School and a witch right next to it. On Viaduct, there's a tiny pirate boat with a pirate flag next to it. And I'm not sure what this is supposed to represent, but it's a pretty fun secret. On the hide and seek map Humbug Street, on the roof of this building, there's the word uwu written in carpet with a sign that says uwu on the ruwu. Very interesting, Hive. And lastly, in SG4 and survival games, there's uh, a tunnel and a head. Um, okay then. In the arcade hub, there's 100 golden millbots to collect, but what if I told you that there's actually 101? You see, there's a golden millbot specifically on top of this tree, but before it actually used to be higher, and players had a tough time reaching it, so Hive moved it down a little bit, but it counted as a new golden millbot. So if you got this golden millbot before they moved it down, you can have 101 golden millbots, and they have no intentions on fixing this. Now let's talk about a removed hive map that most likely you've never played before. Now I talked about village before a couple times on this channel as I was the one who made hive bring it back, so that's why it just randomly showed up one day in February, but the map that has been removed is a map called Winterwood. This map is the Christmas version of Northwood in survival games, and it was added a few years ago and wasn't brought back for Christmas or on custom servers. Now I asked Hive to bring it back, and they said this. Now I talked about secrets outside some maps, but what about the secret ways to get out of the map? Geometry dash reference. I've talked about all the ways to get outside of gardens and death run, but there's actually a way to get in the death area on the map survival. If you swim up this lava stream and leap, you can actually go over the barriers. And speaking of barriers, on the map Seaside, there used to be one single barrier block missing here, and you could just walk into the death area, but this has been patched. Going here as a runner was pretty useless, but fun to confuse your friends if you have any, but if you were a death and you escaped, it was actually quite OP as you could still activate the trap, confusing everyone. Now let's talk about the Treasure Wars map facility. Did you know that this map was originally supposed to be a Sky Wars map? On the Hive's launch trailer, if you listen closely, they say Sky Wars. Sky Wars! But this is now a Treasure Wars map. But speaking of Treasure Wars, did you know that it was originally supposed to be called Dragon Wars? On the Hive's website, if you scroll down enough and then scroll down again, you can find Fight and Protect Your Dragon. Your dragon has mythical abilities that can grant you and your team infinite respawns, but only while he is alive. Build up defenses for your dragon and then try to eliminate all opposing forces in this fast PvP game. Pretty interesting. Now let's talk about Tim. No, not that Tim. Get him out of here. Underscore Tim. I'm pretty sure Underscore Tim is a builder on Hive, and on the murder mystery map office, 
you can find underscore Tim's office, but you can actually find this on Humbug Street. And lastly, let's talk about some arcade secrets. If you go into this building, you can actually find a reference to the Aether Portal. How parkour checkpoints work in the arcade is by using the return to checkpoint item, you can actually cheat the parkour. Now I'm actually going to make a part 2 to this in a few months, so make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.